In this short video, we're going to show you how to install an FPC connector. Looks like this. The right way and the clean way. You never want to use heat on top of these connectors, and I typically don't try to come in with a soldering iron because you're going to burn this connector up. So the first thing we want to do is uh, prep the work area. Use high quality solder flux gel. This is Amtec VS213A TF. Uh, link will be in the description. We're going to apply a pretty generous amount of flux around. And with the soldering iron, I'm at 367 Celsius using leaded solder. And you can just come in. Um, I'm not going to be focusing on each pin. The flux will kind of help surface tension. Um, the, the, the surface tension will help the solder stick to where it needs to stick. So I'm just kind of going to put it on my iron tip and roam it around. And let's just say you, you add too much and we can see what that looks like. With a high quality flux, you know, I'm just going to dab my iron tip off using some brass sponge and then just go over those pins. And we can see we got a good amount of solder on all those pins. This process can vary depending on how thick the board is that you're working with. Um, don't want too much on these little ground legs over here. That looks pretty good. The next thing we want to do before moving on is we want to clean up all the flux. So what I'll do is I'll use a cotton swab or Q-tip brand, cotton swab, whatever. I'm just going to clean up all this flux, the excess residue. Two. Take a fresh, clean cotton swab. I'm going to apply some IPA right to the tip. I'm going to come over with my hot air. It's at 375 Celsius, but I'm just kind of far away, just warming up the area, and then give it one more quick wipe down. Now you could even just dry that off. We want this to be completely spotless. No leftover flux. These joints should be nice and shiny. Looks good. So this next step that we're going to do is I have a weighted object. Um, in this case it's just a piece of uh, cast iron. And let me see if I can actually switch my camera and kind of show you. So I have this big piece of cast iron that's a board holder with magnets. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this over the edge and have something weighted on it. You don't need something very heavy, but this is the part that we're working on. Now I'm using this little gooseneck with a USB microscope. It's easier with a microscope for sure. Let's switch back to the microscope view. I'm going to tuck in my keyboard. I'm going to position the microscope. Get this in focus. And this microscope, you know, might be 60 bucks on eBay, 60 bucks on Amazon. I'll make sure we don't get too much glare. We'll kind of play around with this. Is that perfect? Now, I'm not going to ever apply too much pressure to the board. You can see my finger underneath just to see how small this connector is. I'm going to apply some flux across the pins. I'm really focusing on these pins. Do a little bit on the ground area. Now, I always recommend heating them under the board. You might wonder, you know, there's if there's components under the board, won't those fly off? Um, they shouldn't. Most of the time, surface tension will keep them on, especially if you're just keeping the air straight on, not really coming on at an angle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to position the connector. Uh, before I position, I'm going to kind of dip the little legs in the solder, I mean the flux solar flux and move that around. 
So we're kind of coding those connections that we're going to use. You can hold under the board for some support and leverage, and I'm going to carefully get this in place just above those pins. Just make sure this is straight. Gently press on top. You don't want to mess with the alignment too much. I might have just ruined it right there. Let's go ahead and pick this up one more time. Just want to make sure it's a little bit difficult because with the solder, there's little ridges. And you just want the connector to just kind of sit right on top so all those pins are lined up. That looks pretty good. You just take your time and get it lined up. Now, I've got my hot air at full speed. I'm at 375 Celsius. I'm going to come from under the board. You can see my nozzle here. And I'm just going to move my air back and forth. And we're going to watch that connector. You might see a little bit of movement. We're going to wait. You know, I might go 15, 30 seconds. Just depends. I want to see a little bit of movement. You're going to see that connector kind of drop down in place. I think it kind of just went down. I'm going to release the hot air and watch carefully those pins. You'll see the solder change when it cools down. And we're waiting for that moment right when it cools down. Waiting to see that transformation from liquid to completely solid. I think we're good. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to gently press on top of the connector and bring in that heat. Just gently press down. Let go of the hot air. Hold for a few seconds, wait for that to cool down. And we can release. And then let's talk about cleaning. So we can see here the alignment of the pins and some of these are definitely not connected. So some of these are a little loose. You can kind of wiggle around. So what do you do in this situation? Well. It's pretty simple. We're going to put it back and we're going to just move it over a little bit. So, first thing you can do is you can just add some extra flux. And we're going to talk about cleaning and stuff too. But I'm going to add some extra flux and then let's put it back under the weight and we'll reheat and I'll show you how we can move that connector right into place. Alright, so we got our board back under that weight. And I'm just going to get that heat back underneath. And you'll start to see that flux do its work. And it was a little bit too far to the left. And this orientation, I'm going to kind of nudge it on this side. see if I can show you what I'm doing exactly. There. I'm going to let go. Wait for that to cool. I just use the leverage. Put my tweezer against the board and then pushed just a tiny bit. And then now, same thing as before. I'm going to press straight down the middle. And I'm going to heat until I see that solar change to liquid molten.
Don't let go. Let to change. All right. Let's go ahead and check those pins one more time. And I think we'll be good to go. While it's still hot, you know, let it cool for just a minute. I'm going to touch some alcohol on it. With this flux especially, it's a little bit easier to kind of get it clean while it's hot. So I'm using the cotton swab. Okay, now let's put it under the microscope closer again and we'll, we'll take a look. All right, at this point everything's looking perfectly centered. I just have this needle with a bent tip that I made. All these pins are just perfectly centered. You know, it's okay not to get it perfectly centered that first time. You know, you just got to make small adjustments sometimes. That pin might move a little bit on the top. That's okay. Okay, so let's talk about cleanup. Now, the first thing I'll do with cleanup of this port, because you don't want a sticky connection, I'll just heat a little bit, and then kind of flood it with alcohol, and give it some more heat. And you, I'm kind of just bringing the hot air in and out. And I'm never putting, you know, heat that's too long. Right now this connector is open, so let's go ahead and close that. Get another angle. My hot air is at still at 375, but you know I'm not I'm not holding it on for more than just a few seconds at a time. And I'm going to roll over with my cotton swab. Give it one more. Hot air, flood it. And that's it. You got your perfectly installed FPC connector. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Or if you need a follow up, happy to answer any questions. There's a Discord server. Feel free to join it if you have any questions there. Happy to, I'm hanging out there most of the time, so I'm happy to answer any questions. All right, take care.